There's really only one thing about this movie that I didn't like. It was the fact that the guy sitting in front of me had his eight to nine year old son with him. In an 18A movie where people lose their limbs and their bodies are disrespected by nature. Yeah, even up here in Canada, we still have idiots. here to let you know that Hacksaw Ridge is no perfect movie. So in Hacksaw Ridge, we see the true life story of Corporal Desmond Doss, who is portrayed by Andrew Garfield. And we get to learn how he became a conscientious objector as a child before enlisting for World War II, how he convinced the army that he didn't need to bear arms in order to become a medic, and how he saved countless lives during the Battle of Okinawa. All of the actors in this movie gave such powerful performances that I actually had to fight back tears multiple times. That never happens to me in a movie ever. I mean, Andrew Garfield brilliantly portrays a man who wasn't always against violence, but after a childhood incident that was completely his fault, and they don't hide that fact, he was almost instantly traumatized and remorseful, and later events in life where he had to protect others from abusive families inspired him further to save lives and not to take them. And Garfield and Hugo Weaving in particular, I think, are Oscar-worthy this year. Because Weaving undoubtedly plays a despicable human being, there's no denying that. But after seeing his best friends die during the war that he served in, it makes complete sense that he is a drunk, stupid person. And you can kind of understand why he thinks that his sons beating each other up can teach them how to fight back in life. You don't agree with this concept, not in the slightest, but you can kind of understand where he's coming from. And despite all those things, he does love his sons deeply, and he does not want them to join a war where they will most likely die or lose a lot of people that they care about. But regardless, he still shows up to Desmond's trial in order to prove his innocence that he does not need a gun in order to serve. He still shows his disappointment that he's risking his life for what he thinks is a lost cause, but he just wants his son to be happy, and he doesn't want his son to be in prison for something that he's technically not guilty of. I was really concerned about Vince Vaughn as a drill sergeant in this movie, just because he's never really impressed me as a dramatic actor before. But thankfully, in this film, he has the perfect blunt line delivery when he's insulting the other soldiers that are serving under him. And he has the right facial expressions and body language when he does show remorse for the fact that Desmond is being stigmatized by the others for his beliefs, and he does legitimately want to help him. He's just like, look, if you can't kill, this may not be the right career choice for you. You can quit while you still can. But Desmond is completely determined in order to save lives in the battlefield, and Vaughn really starts to show his appreciation for that. And Luke Bracey, especially, is also very effective in portraying a man who is quick to judge anyone, especially Doss, considering his actions do come off kind of as being cowardly. But when he does take the time to see that Doss is brave enough not to rat out the men who beat him and focus on saving every soldier he can during the battle, he quickly shows his respect to Doss, especially while seeing all of his other comrades being slaughtered by the enemy. You can really appreciate a man who has no weapons on him whatsoever, but is completely unrepented and wants to save anyone he can regardless. And it's just so riveting to watch. I've always enjoyed Mel Gibson more as a director than an actor, and he does a fantastic job behind the camera in this film. Usually whenever there's two characters conversing with one another, rather than just do the usual shot reverse shot technique, Gibson puts both actors in the same frame and when characters talk back and forth, the camera switches deep focus all in one shot to give the audience more to look at with their eyes and it saves a lot of time in the editing room. And the battle sequences in this movie were so well done that my neck and jaw actually hurt while I was watching. I hadn't felt that way since I saw Conjuring 2. The use of wide shots provides so much clarity to the audience on who's getting shot where, and they're just large in scope, and Gibson doesn't hide any of the atrocities that come with war. People lose their limbs, you see their bodies without their arms, and it's really convincing makeup effects. Their bodies are, like I said in the intro, completely disregarded by nature. I don't really think I need to spell that out for you, but I won't anyways. 
And Gibson builds up the battles so well using slow camera moves and the use of shadows and smoke in the background to make us anticipate what's hiding behind or in front of the characters. If I had any nitpicks at all with this movie, and I want to make this clear, this is just a nitpick, nothing major. It's that the battle scenes, as amazing as they are, they start and end very abruptly. The first battle started with a technique that I'm not going to spoil for you, but while they were building up the tension, I was just sitting there in anticipation, and I was just like, oh, come on, don't do that thing that I think you're going to do, and of course, they do it. That's it. That's really all I can think of. Hacksaw Ridge just might be my favorite movie of the year so far, thanks to the Oscar-worthy acting performances, especially from Andrew Garfield and Hugo Weaving, the epic scope of Mel Gibson's direction and cinematography, the really convincing but very grim makeup effects, and just capturing an incredible true story and utilizing it so well in a movie. For that reason, I'm going to give Hacksaw Ridge a 4.5 out of 5. Guys, thanks as always for watching. Be sure to like, subscribe, check out my other reviews at noperfectmovie.com. And once again, thank you all very much for watching. Take care.